So, next in line, eh, hey, Digi? Yeah, Digi, Digi! Digi! Hey, we got a little digit, haven't we? I'll give you an idea of her size. So, Toby's 16 kilos. And, uh, come Digi! And, uh, yeah, she's about 10 or 12. Aren't you, Digi? Did she? Come on. So yeah, she's a beautiful little girl. And yeah, about two, two and a half now, something like that. And um, yeah, her breeding is half, half apparently from working line um, cattle dog, and uh, half cattle Tannerfield Terrier Lithgow Collie. And yeah, and you did, yeah, yeah. She loves balls. Absolute lunatic for balls. Um, so is all my dogs except for Ali, which is great for exercising, especially when you've got a bung leg like me. So, uh, yeah, he's only little, and uh, she was a really slow starter. So, yeah, for the first, oh, first year or so I had her, she, um, yeah, she got to the point where she'd find a pig, and then she'd just turn around, or she'd find a pig, she wouldn't bail, she actually stopped a few and held them just with sort of eyesight, so no bail at all. Um, and caught a few pigs that way. But uh, yeah, finally she cracked and started bailing reasonably hard and now she's just an absolute weapon. Never with you. Out, oh, anywhere between 20 meters and 100 meters all the time. Never by your side. Um, always out looking. Great dog, finds off for you. Um, well, same as actually all my dogs find off for you. And uh, yeah. Just little little midgets, you get a few funny funny looks and that if you head out for someone that you haven't been hunting with before and um yeah you know they're all chucking their dogs in the crate and you chuck in this little thing that's the size of a fox terrier and that and they think what like it's a bit of a bit of a gimmick surely, surely she's not sort of a main dog, she must just be sort of like a you know I don't know, I see lots of people that run Jack Russells and that sort of thing and that and they're usually not the main dog, but in this case she's an absolute weapon. She'd be on par with Ali in terms of finding and everything um, but yeah just goes great guns actually pretty fast for her size so um, yeah she's yeah pretty quick huge acceleration corners not like you wouldn't believe in a thick stuff and just zoom after him can you and um, yeah great great little dog um, what else can I say about it oh actually got her from um so the reason i ended up with her is uh i actually fell off a motorbike years ago i had to walk into walk into a lady's house who actually breeds these dogs she calls them miniature cattle dogs i think um, obviously not actual miniature cattle dogs but that's just what they're called because of what they look like and um yeah she contacted me a while after she actually patched me up and everything and sent me on my way because i was pretty pretty beat up and um, yeah, she contacted me a while after because she knew I was into pegan. And uh, she said, look, I've got this little, this little um, dog here. Don't want to give her to a family. She's six months old at that point. Hey, did you? Come on. And um, yeah, she actually said, look, I don't want to give her to a family because she's, she had horses there. She did horse rides and um, whatnot. And uh, yeah, she was a bit of a menace. Wanted to chase the horses, um, nipping nipping kids not ferociously but if anything ran she just wanted to nip it on the nip it on the ankles and uh yeah she was just coming from a working cattle um father i think it was could be wrong there don't quote me on that but anyway working cattle in the line and um let's go collie i'm pretty sure it's working as well she was just driven and really needed a job so anyway I took her in and uh yeah like i said she was a bit iffy for a while it took a while to come around to me and whatnot and uh finally yeah finally clicked on to onto pigs and yeah she's been going great guns since um that got rid of any any drive she had to chase anything else as well giving her a job something to focus on um there's a lot to be said for sort of dogs getting into pig hunting because um yeah they just need an outlet so yeah she's she's great now um yeah good with good with my um, nieces and nephews uh one of my nieces is just a 
just a baby trade with them. Same as all my dogs actually, there's not really anything that crazy to say about a big dog being great for kids or anyone else. That's a, just a complete myth if you think they're not. Um, but yeah, she's great with, great with everything. Other dogs, kids, all the rest. Doesn't chase anything she's not supposed to and has a job now. And absolutely loves it. Loves it. You can see this, either a tennis ball or a pig. She's, she thinks it's the greatest thing in the world. Yeah, that's my little Digi. Hey, little Digi. Hey. Hey, you're a bit of a weapon, aren't ya? Yeah, look, oh, who's that? Oh, the Digi, that's you. Yeah, anyway, that's Dig. Here we have Minty. Maybe just over a year old, aren't ya? Just a tiny bit younger than Pepper. And she's pure catahoula. Hey Minty, um, a fairly good build on her, reasonably leggy, she's kind of like the happy medium of every dog I own, has an amazing nose, um, she's always sniffing and that sort of thing, fairly good onto it eyesight, but um, in most of the other attributes she's not the best but she's not the worst, so she has the arse end bite, um, has the arse end bite to pull pigs up, uh, she's not a real early starter, but she's still fairly early. She's caught a few pigs on her own, and she's only just over a year. Um, what else? She's not super fast, but she's definitely not the slowest dog. Um, her acceleration isn't the best yet, but she's still young, hasn't got the full muscle tone. So, um, yeah, she's, she's literally the happy medium of all the dogs. Um, I got her from uh, working parents once again. Um, yeah, I don't just go out and buy a dog because it's a, you know, the right breed or anything like that. You've got to have parents that do the right job. So, uh, yeah, her parents um, are down south and uh, down near Brisbane, I think. And um, yeah, they're used for bailing pigs. And I've seen the footage of them, the hard ass enders. I've seen footage of pigs trying to break and them grabbing them on the ass. And uh, yeah, she's she's switched on, loves to chase pigs. Just lacking a little bit of confidence, but I've got no, no qualms in saying that, yeah, she's gonna be a good dog. And um, the nose on it's amazing. So when the other dogs are jumping off the ute, she's normally already started picking up the scent. She just doesn't have the courage to follow it yet. So um, yeah. Holds a, holds a fairly tight bale. You can tell whenever she gets to a bale if she's not the first one there because she's got that real hound bark. So, yeah, good dog. What else can you say, eh? Exactly what you want. There was a lot of, a lot of um, Catahoula breeders that I was looking at getting the dog off at the start. <coughs> but, um, yeah, not to, not to sort of take the piss out of them, but in general, I tried to, tried to get an overall opinion of everyone's dogs and um, pretty much every breeder just put down the next person's dog so I just thought well what am I, what am I going to do so I found this bloke um, he had dogs from I can't remember the exact cross but they had uh, razor whatever it is razorback oz cat blah 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 blah, blah. all the different lines of um, good dogs used in Australia and I just thought well fine I'll, I'll get her and see how she goes and uh, yeah she's been she's been good so anyway maybe if they didn't all fight with one another I could have come up with a dog that suited my needs exactly more but anyway she she may not be from a professional Catahoula breeder but she's a great dog healthy parents um, parents go back into different different lines uh, all those lines came up healthy dogs so yeah good stuff hey mini mini minty what are you doing what are you doing mini yeah she's lovely lovely hey mini <laughs> Uh, 
and uh, yeah. If the need ever comes, you can fake getting shot by a gun as well. Can't you, buddy? Eh? It's a lovely gear, mate. Yeah. Pepper. She's not much of a cuddler and whatnot, and let's see, there she goes, gone again. But uh, you can get her. <whistles> Did you? Pepper! You can get an idea on it, Bill. Stumpy cattle, uh, of a tiny bit of kelpie, maybe a tiny bit of normal cattle. Um, could be possibly other stuff in there. The reason I got her is not because of her, well it is because of her breeding, but also because of the job her parents do. So you see lots of people get, get dogs and that, and um, yeah, they get them for the wrong reasons. Hey Pepper, hey good girl. Loves a good ear scratch. Oh yeah, oh. Hey Pepper. Come on, I'll give you a big cuddle, but you're wet. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, she's about just over a year now, and she is an absolute weapon. Next in line for how, how old she is. That's her build. And, uh, yeah, she's... Well, the reason, the reason that I got Pepper, wherever she is there, is because of, um, I wanted a dog with good back end bite, so uh, for a bailing dog, if you can get that ass end bite, oh, it goes a long way. Digit has it, Minty has it a little bit, but yeah, none of my dogs have it like Pepper, so if you, um, if you clean a pig up after Pepper's been after it, if there's no bites on the nuts, you'll um, pull it apart, and uh, actually the back of the, the back of the heel and uh, back of the legs is just bruised to the crap house so that pig keeps trying to run. She holds a bale that's super tight, so uh, anytime the pig turns to run, she smashes straight onto it. It's a really hard bale. A lot of people don't like a hard bale. I like whatever bale will stop a pig. And I can tell you right now, I don't have another dog that can stop a pig like Peppa. She's an absolute machine in stopping pigs. She's the only dog I'd ever think about breeding um, that I have at the moment. So, uh, and I've never thought about it before, but yeah, she's a, she's a bloody weapon. She'd be maybe about the same size as Toby, about 16 kilos, maybe slightly less. Um, not overly big. The people I got her from, um, the reason I got her, so I wouldn't just go and get any old cattle dog. Um, majority of cattle dogs these days bred to look like bull terriers or bulldogs. They're just big, ugly pieces of crap in my opinion. And um, yeah, they're not lean and athletic. They can't run. Um, and endurance isn't there. Um, chasing a ball around the backyard is not endurance, by the way. Uh, but yeah, she's she's from working parents. Um, also, like the Stumpy, they tend to be a little bit longer legged. And um, yeah, her parents were used for contract mustering. Um, used to travel around six months of the year. Uh, I went and seen the owners. Um, asked him what the parents were like, so the dad was pure red uh, stumpy tail, and um, yeah, he was just a machine apparently, super hard ice and bite. The mum uh, had, uh, I think she'd had a shoulder problem at some stage later in life, not because of hereditary, just um, working and had a bit of a problem, so they didn't use her as much. She was more of a house dog, but uh, back when they did use her, Heaps of arse and bite on the cattle. Um, not afraid to nose bite and that sort of thing as well. But it's actually the father wasn't afraid to nose bite as well. And actual bite, not lug. So um, she doesn't want to hold on to a pig. She just wants to nip it. So if the pig's still, she'll sit there and bail. But if that pig turns to run, she's holding the bail that tightly that uh, before it's even got a foot or two, a foot or two out the door, majority of the time she's already biting it on the arse. So. Yeah, they just they never get anywhere. Usually, once she's there, and uh, yeah, holds a holds an amazing bale. Great dog. Um, 
since she was eight months old, she's been out finding the other dogs on occasion. So, uh, yeah, just one of those freak dogs. I think she's great. Um, exactly what, exactly what I wanted out of her, really. Um, and the drive to work is just ridiculous. You can see it just when, um, yeah, fetching and that sort of thing. She's either concentrating that hard on the ball or concentrating that hard on another dog. She just mimics the. She's concentrating on the dog, mimics the exact movements that, that dog's making, and uh, yeah, she's always right there. So, yeah, great dog, good with other dogs, fairly good around the house, but uh, yeah, she is a working dog, so you wouldn't get her as a pet, obviously, or you'd have a lot of dramas. You've got to get her out and exercise her. So, yeah, absolute machine, that little dog. Did you hear it? Got him. Good dogs! Good dogs! Stoked is an understatement. Absolutely stoked. 